Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look Features. Tonight, we are at the ACE Awards, recognizing the best editing in film, television, and documentaries. Let's take a first look. The 70th annual ACE Eddy Awards are presented by American Cinema Editors, the honorary society of film editors established in 1950. The annual event recognizes the best editing of the year in 11 competitive categories, including film, television, and documentaries. How does it feel to be here? Because you are a part of editing a hit show, and not overseas, in America too. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things that uh, I think we're all really proud of, is that it seems to have uh, come across the pond and, and, um, and done very well over here. So, I mean, that's fantastic, really, because it was a, a sort of relatively small show. You know, the, we worked on the first season and that went down well, but then this season really seemed to uh, break out and um, yeah, it's very exciting. feels amazing. I don't think I'd ever really pictured myself being here amongst my peers, you know, at the ACE Awards, uh, getting a nomination. Uh, I'm really proud of what we did on Toy Story 4, but you just don't necessarily expect to be get the recognition, you know what I mean? I mean, what are the challenges of doing number four for you as an editor on like on this film? Well, the films are all so well paced and well constructed, you know, that you have a really high bar that you want to meet. At the same time, you want to make them feel like their own thing. Like we wanted to make four feel like its own movie. You know, we changed the aspect ratio and we 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 did some things that we'd never done before. Like we had a whole scene of walking and talking and really slowed things down, you know, I don't think we'd had a scene that was like at that kind of a pace in a Toy Story movie, but we still needed to feel like Toy Story, you know, and so I think that was probably our, one of our biggest challenges, you know, feel new but similar, you know. To have the film received so wonderfully by so many people is what's the reward, it always is, you know, the award sometimes we get them, sometimes we don't. But uh, I must say the reception of the movie and the critical reviews were the best we've ever had. And so that, that's been wonderful. And it's a very unique movie and people got it, which is so great. It was very daring of Scorsese to make the movie the way he did. Very simple, no flashy stuff. And uh, it was very daring and it worked. When you go to a theater and there's, you can't hear a sound. People are not texting each other, they're not talking to each other, they're watching the screen, which is so great. Can you talk to me about how you would edit? Like, did you have like a transcript? Because I can't imagine the subtitles are burned in for you, or I don't know if you had somebody next to you saying this is what they're talking yeah, about. No. It, as we were cutting, we would put the subtitles in. But cutting it was difficult because Mandarin, not only are the words different, but the entire sentence structure is different. So in English, the translation might have the emotional impact of the line at the end of the line, but that might be happening at the beginning of the line in Mandarin. So I would need to get two translations of everything. The actual, you know, intent of the line and then the literal word for word translation. Because we had to cut it to make it work for both audiences. The audiences that were reading the titles and the audiences that were listening to the words. So there were certain cuts that I might have done in an English version that wouldn't have worked for the man, and vice versa. So yeah, there it, it was an extra layer of complexity to do that. How does it feel to be recognized? Because I want to say, not in personal conversation with you, but when you started your career here, it was as an assistant editor? Yes, yes, in fact it was, in medical and educational films. Um, listen, I have the utmost, I have, so much respect for editors that I feel like I'm allowed to honor them, honestly, that they're saying, here's the award, because you've worked on a lot of movies, and I get to thank all the editors for what they've done for all those movies, and all, all the movies that they work on. They're our heroes. Lauren, you were a billion dollar producer. You were dubbed that while I was working for you. I wanted to know, if you went back to your younger self, you went back to Lauren Schuler and said, this is the secret of my success as a producer, and you're not done yet. I wanted to know what sticks out in your mind. Yikes. Um, I think uh, keeping a sense of humor about everything, not making it personal, but trying to be objective, um, and just having uh, trusting my gut in terms of story and sticking with it. From the beginning, this, uh, this movie's super special to me and kind of everything I'd ever wanted in a, in a film. Um, 
and then to get nominated is like takes it an even a step beyond. You know, so it's one thing to get this script, but then when you start seeing the footage come in, are you just are you just as wowed as everybody else? Even though it's like even though you're the guy that's actually assembling it, but just watching the performances. Absolutely. I mean, it it almost makes your job more difficult because there's so much good stuff coming in that it's like I don't want to cut anything. I want to be able to show everybody everything, but of course you have to make choices. So uh, it's yeah, I, 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 it's probably the hardest thing I've ever done because it was the hardest hardest to choose. Talk to me about the challenges of editing on JoJo. I don't know if it's just trying to sit there and say, we got to make Hitler sympathetic. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really trying to make Hitler sympathetic, but um, we did have to sympathize with the little boy who we are told is a Nazi at the beginning of the, the story. And um, I mean, one of the, the greatest tools that Taika has is humor. It o opens the door for people, it loosens them up, it makes them look at things in a different light um, and maybe open their hearts a little to someone who they might be inclined to dislike. So it's a really important tool for us and, and then balancing that humour with the really heartfelt emotion and drama of the film was like a just a tightrope walk the whole way through. I tell you, you gentlemen did a great job because I'm watching the movie and the whole time it's like all I want to do is jump in a car and just start driving really fast. But the whole thing too about the editing is that the movie could be really boring if you, you know, the, the editing matters in this movie to keep the pacing and to keep like the drive and the adrenaline going for everybody. So like, I don't know if that was the biggest challenge of doing this film or there's something completely different. Well, I think there's two different challenges. I mean, I think that is a challenge in terms of logistics of the racing, but by the time you get there, you are so invested in these guys that when your reaction that wanting to get into a car and drive it is because you know how those guys feel. It's a very subjective experience. For full list of Ace Eddie Award nominees, go to AmericanCinemaEditors.org. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Rick Hong, and you've been watching Hollywood First Look Features.